In this video series, I'm gonna talk about the crisis we're experiencing here in Florida with homeowners insurance. And it's getting worse by the day. During a recent discussion with a insurance agent here in the state, the agent indicated it's the worst market they've seen in 40 plus years of business. What if buyers can't get homeowners insurance or the rates are just so high they can't afford the monthly payment? And that's what's happening here in the state of Florida. And in my opinion, it's just gonna get worse. Who is Citizens? What is Citizens? And what role does Citizens play in the whole homeowners insurance crisis here in the state of Florida? Citizens, the insurer of last resort. State-backed insurer of last resort for property insurance. Of course, we are talking about Citizens. Citizens, the state-run insurer of last resort, is averaging about 30,000 new customers each month, according to the company's CEO. State-run Citizens Insurance says it has lost money and now wants a double-digit rate increase on all of its home insurance policies. Citizens Property Insurance Corporation is a Florida-based, government-created, not-for-profit insurer that was established in August of 2002. The company is often referred to as a last resort carrier and has become an increasingly important part of the Florida home insurance market in the last few years, as many private carriers seek to stop writing home insurance policies in the state. Citizens was created by the Florida legislature in August of 2002 as a not-for-profit, tax-exempt government entity to provide property insurance to eligible Florida property owners unable to find insurance coverage in the private market. Citizens operates according to statutory requirements established by the Florida legislature and is governed by a board of governors. The board administers a plan of operation approved by the Florida Financial Services Commission an oversight panel made up of the governor, chief financial officer, attorney general, and commissioner of agriculture. Okay, two big things you've got to remember about citizens. First, they are not a privately owned company. They were created by the state of Florida and they are run by the state of Florida. And number two, they are considered a not-for-profit organization. Now don't get that confused with nonprofit because it's not the same thing. Actually, let's take a quick look at the definition of not-for-profit. So according to Wikipedia, and not to be confused with nonprofit organization, non-governmental organization, or charitable organization, a not-for-profit or non-for-profit organization is a legal entity that does not distribute surplus funds to its members and is formed to fulfill specific objections. NFPOs are considered recreational organizations, meaning that they do not operate with the goal of generating revenue as opposed to NPOs. An NFPO does not have the same obligation as an NPO to serve the public good, and as such, it may be used to apply for tax-exempt status as an organization that serves its members and does not have the goal of generating profit. So what does all that mean? Well, Citizens was started by the state of Florida. They are ran by the state of Florida. They have tax exemption. They are considered a not-for-profit company, which means any money they generate goes back into the company. They do not pay shareholders, which means they are not a privately owned company. They are the only insurance company like this in the state of Florida that is ran by the state of Florida. But guess what? Not just anybody can join and get a policy from Citizens. There are certain criteria that you've got to meet, so let's talk about it. Under Florida law, citizens may write a new insurance policy only for property that meets one of the following eligibility criteria. So it's got to meet one or the other of these two for you to be eligible to even get a policy. Number one, coverage is not available from a Florida authorized insurance company. Or two, premiums for coverage from Florida authorized companies are more than 20% higher, that's 20% higher than premiums from comparable coverage from citizens. So you've got to meet one of these two to even be eligible. Now that we have a better understanding of who exactly citizens is, let's talk about the issues. One of the biggest issues is the rise in the number of citizen policies. Excess litigation has done incredible harm uh, to capa the capacity of Florida's private insurance market. Um, this has in very large part caused citizens policy count to double in a two year period from about 610,000 to over 1.2 million. You can look at this chart back in January of 2019. They had a little over 400,000 policies in place. But now if you take a look at June of 2023, they're pushing 1.4 million policies. That's way more than they were intended to hold. Another issue is that Citizens does not have the reserves in place if we are to have another disastrous hurricane season. They've already stated that they've lost over 30% of their reserves, and that's not a good situation. 
Where citizens announced today that it has lost 33 percent of its reserves, a concern as its customer count nears 1.4 million and hurricane season is here. The risk that we would have to levy assessments on our policyholders and other Florida customers increases as our policy count increases. And another issue with citizens, right now they're trying to increase rates by up to 14%, and that's a big problem. Private insurance companies are raising rates from 20 to 40%, and citizens is just trying to keep up, you know, and they, they've got to have the ability to pay claims out and everything, just like a private insurance. A lot of people that have citizens cannot afford over a 10% annual increase in their insurance premium. It's going to devastate their monthly payment, and it's really going to put a lot of people in really bad situations. Here's the problem. Florida is still facing a very precarious property insurance marketplace. There are very few options in the private market. Unfortunately, it's reality today because property insurance and flood insurance both are becoming unaffordable in Florida. Willie Butts, a disabled veteran from Apopka, got one heck of a surprise when he saw what his new property insurance policy was going to cost him. The letter went from, from $2,800 approximately to over $15,000. So to say skyrocket, uh, it might be a little bit of an understatement. You heard that right, fifteen grand. Willie immediately dropped his old carrier and became one of the now 1.3 million policyholders who've turned to Citizens Property Insurance. Willie secured a new rate of around 3,400 a year. Citizens was the, almost the only one left in the pool, you know what I mean, for insurers. Okay, that'll wrap up this video. Hopefully you'll have a good understanding now of what Citizens is, how they operate, what it means here in the state of Florida. And until the next video, I really appreciate it. Have a great day.